You had seven guys in double figures tonight, and for a while the offense certainly clicking. I know they made it close there at the end, but what did you like about the offensive execution tonight? Well, I think 30, is, the 30 assists is a big number. Um, you know, 16 in the first, 14 in the second half. I thought we probably probably could have been a 40 assist night, and, you know, we keep preaching the we and the extra pass, the so one more. Um, this is one of those games where it got going early and our efficiency and our execution, if we can sustain that, we can create those shots all the time. We keep talking about our ability to create shots um, because of our shooters and our spacing and, and you know, you're trying to be greedy. And, and I thought tonight we wanted to be greedy. We wanted to move the ball a little bit better, but pleased with the guys, happy with the guys. It was really balanced effort uh, from a minute standpoint, a um, scoring standpoint and ball movement standpoint. Um, but we always want a little bit more. Sure. And Clint Capella, Rajon Rondo, both making their well regular season debuts. What did you think about their performances? It's good. You know, Clint was probably a little tired in that last stint, but he had some key blocks for us. And obviously the two offensive rebounds um, is where we'll, we'll need him and use him the most, his ability to secure defensive rebounds and create extra possessions on the offensive end and then really be that backline defender um, you know, just securing any time there's some paint drive. They did a tremendous job of getting in the paint, mm -hmm. uh, but he had a couple big blocks down the stretch for us. And then Rondo just settles us. Uh, his eight assists were all timely assists, um, great ball movement, great organization. He's playing out there with a bunch of shooters. And when he got caught, he was able to knock down the two threes that he needed as well, but just does a good job of organizing our guys and keeping us settled. Thank you. Jamila Johnson. Hey, Coach, what did you like from Bruno from off the bench, and what have you seen in terms of his growth from last year to this year? Well, it's just the energy. You know, he's going to play short stints, and he, he's got to be a guy that can bring a physicality to the to the court and, and energy. And so that, that's the DNA. That's got to be his career. That's got to be his, his uh, impact on the game. He had a great um, finish around the basket for an end one. We need that when he's on the court, and we need the same thing defensively where he can protect the rim. He got caught with DeLon Wright a couple times, and that's just understanding tendencies. Some guys drive downhill, but I thought his energy was great. Raphael Haynes. Hey, Coach. Raphael from a three-point conversion. Coach, how impressive was Bogey's performance tonight, especially the fact that, you know, he had a couple of um, bad games or not productive games as he would want it? No, he hasn't had, he hasn't had any bad games. You know, I, we, we, we don't – bad games aren't make or miss. Bad games are just – if he's taking those shots, I'll live with them. It's, it's part of the game. Um, you know, making shots and missing shots are part of the game. I trust his work. I've been praising the fact that he's probably our hardest post-practice worker since he's been here. Um, and if he's going to get those shots all year, then we'll be fine. Um, there aren't bad games for him when he's not making them. They're just not going down. He's, he's been really effective getting the ball to other guys, been really effective uh, playing pick and roll. And when we can create shots and he can get those type of looks, we'll take them make or miss all day. Next question from Brad Rowland. What did you make of the, uh, the defense in particular with the, uh, the big run at the end of the game? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, these are tough games. Uh, we talked about it before the game. Coach, Coach McMillan uh, gave a speech prior to the game about taking care of home and understanding, you know, how to execute when you're in this situation. And, and we knew, you know, they're missing three of their key players in Okafor and Rose and, and, and Blake Griffin. We knew this team was going to come out and be scrappy and try and attack and play fast and junk the game up with blitz and hits. Um, so it's no surprise. It's, it's really – you know, how can we be solid when we know a team is going to do that? That was part of the lesson tonight is, you know, we're trying to gamble. We were, we were overhelping where we didn't need to overhelp, and they were able to create some threes and some slashes and some, some attack attacks to the rim. And so our defense suffered uh, late in the game, but I thought for the most part we were solid. We knew this team was going to come out and try and outwork us and outscrap us, and two of their bigs get five offensive rebounds apiece. Uh, that's just par for course. You, you know that kind of thing happens when you're missing some of your players. You just turn up your energy and try and, and try and create a different advantage. Brandon Harper. Hey, Coach, you talk about uh, Rondo being, you know, a settler, you know, settling your second, your second unit. But when you see him knock down a couple of three-point shots, you know, you got to feel good about where your team is after he does something like that. 
he's a pro. I mean, it, it's, it's not like it's a bonus. It's, he's, we just saw him do it in, in, in October uh, on the biggest stage. That, that's, that's no surprise. I think what you're used to is his ability to really just or, orchestrate the offense and organize our guys. You give him an open shot, that's what he does. He, he's going to be able to make big shots, timely shots. They, they call him playoff Rondo for a reason. He, he's not afraid of the moment. And so those shots are just part of it. It's part of the moment. Uh, I, I think the biggest thing is the confidence of our guys when he's on the court, his ability to facilitate and organize them, and they know they have that leadership. Sarah Spencer. Uh, Lloyd, Cam Reddish with three steals. Uh, what did you see out of him tonight? It was a big one down the stretch. Obviously, um, you know, it's he, he thrives on that. You know, sometimes it gets him in trouble. But uh, we're going to encourage and wind them up to do that all the time, to be aggressive on the basketball, to play in the passing lanes. Um, you know, we call that a slice, and he's had about three or four slices this year already where he's just in the passing lane getting a steal. Um, that's why he's out there. He, he's going to be one of our lead defensive players, especially on the perimeter. And his ability to create some offense off of his defense is uh, what we're expecting. Thank you. Andy. Hi, Coach. Uh, I actually have two questions, but the first one is actually piggybacking on what you said about Bob Dunn. I wanted to ask you about something specific. Uh, basically, we've, we've heard a little bit about how he's – obviously, he's a new guy, but he's essentially uh, comes to practice and usually, is we've heard, is the last one to leave. Uh, can, you, can you attest to that, or what's been his impact in this case uh, when it comes to practice as yeah, a walker? He's just uh... – I mean, it's it's in it's who he is. He's a worker. Um, he does everything at game speed. Uh, he spends a lot of time post practice, whether it's one on one. They were playing one on one yesterday. He gets a lot of game shots. Um, but that's that's why he's here. He, he's a guy that's going to really create that type of culture for us. Encourage other guys to do the same. He's always giving guys pointers, um, and he's fun. He's fun to be around. And so I, I appreciate the the way he approaches the game, the way he approaches his work and the time he spends. But he is one of the, you know, one of our post-practice leaders right now in terms of the effort and work he's putting in. All right. Uh, you actually mentioned the word fun. I was actually just about to ask you, is the game as fun as you guys make it look? You know, for example, Rajon has the ball, finds the open shooter and cutter and Trey's is resting and cheering the guys on. Yeah. You know, if, if you had a game in, in, 40 of your shots or 30 of, of your shots are assisted, 30 of your 40 makes are assisted. I would imagine your team's having a lot of fun. And, and again, I thought we could have had more, thought we should have had more. Um, but that that's the we mentality we keep talking about, um, sharing the basketball, encouraging each other, supporting each other, and then cheering each other on. I think our guys have had tremendous energy on and off the court. And uh, when the ball is moving the way it was tonight, it, it's going to be fun. The guys are going to enjoy it, and they enjoy seeing each other's success as well. Thank you. Okay, Coach, our final question will come from Kevin Taylor. Hey, Coach, uh, just talk about uh, your team getting off to a fast start tonight as well as 65 points in the first half. To a, to a bad start? No, fast start. Uh, fast start tonight. <laughs> Get up to a fast start tonight. <laughs> I thought it was all right. I, I, you guys are harsher critics than I am. No, uh, <laughs> no you know, I, I, in all honesty, I, I thought there were some areas in the first half that we could have cleaned up. Um, we watched our transition defense, and, you know, it, it was pretty pathetic at first. And the guys understand, you know, when you're playing a team like this where they're missing some bodies, the best way they can stay in the game is to create some extra possessions and some easy baskets and 10 offensive rebounds between their two bigs and the points in the paint that they had was, was really just off of energy. And so we, we got off to a good start, but our defense really, really took a hit tonight. Um, and it's, and I, and I give them a ton of credit. I think they came out and they did what they needed to do to keep themselves around and to create easy opportunities because they were going to need some big baskets. They had some guys play well. Jeremy Grant had a tremendous game. Uh, Josh Jackson had a tremendous game. A young fella, uh, Stewart, was great for them in their 15 minutes. Um, but our, our defense took a hit. As well as we played, our defense took a hit, and we've got to clean some of that up. 